Hey everyone, welcome to Rasayan Academy all of you. So we are going to start another video. This is the third video in the series of Neem Reaction Question Practice. And in this uh, video, we are going to talk about the uh, questions from the June 2013 and December 2013 paper. Alright, so the first question that we are doing is the is this one. The major product formed in the following reaction sequence is... Alright, so in the first question you see... This is a, a norbornin, a norbornin known system over here, and the reagent which is given is per acetic acid. All right, in the first step, it is just a per acid. All right, so what does a per acid do to the ketone? Yes, this is your bare villager oxidation taking place over here. It's a very simple reaction. What you have to do is just carbonyl the oxygen insertion, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just directly inserting, right? This reaction is very, very simple. So even if you consider that your carbonyl molecule is attacked by is attacked by the per acid in this way, let's say. Alright, the oxygen has a positive charge over here. The O minus is going to fall back. <clears throat> And the more substituted carbon should migrate and give the insertion. Alright, in this way the reaction should happen so that you get the product in this way. Oxygen comes over here and this is your carbonyl over here. Alright, so this should be the product of this particular reaction. The oxygen insertion on the more substituted carbon-carbon bond, not over here. Because a 3 degree carbon migrates better than a 2 degree carbon which is present over here all right so what happens next you are having lithium aluminium hydride so the lithium aluminium hydride is going to do the reduction of the ester bond the lactone bond over here this side and the rest of the molecule is as it is it is going to completely reduce the molecule to ch2oh and this side you have one methyl group and one OH group like this okay so we consider that this methyl is above the plane when we draw this ring in in a very simple way like this we are going to consider that this methyl is above and since both of these bonds are pointing downwards because it has come from the same ring right so both of these uh, bonds are pointing downwards we will consider these bonds are down okay and this hydrogen is above just like methyl okay so in this side you have the OH and on this side you have the CH2OH. Alright, so this is what you have. The answer to question number 1 is going to be option number B as you can see. Alright, why the others are wrong? Why A option is wrong? Because the OH and CH2OH, these are two, <clears throat> they cannot be trans, right? Because they have formed the same ring over here. Also, this cannot be, uh, both of these are wrong because they are coming from the minor uh, rearrangement product if you see if you rearrange the two degree carbon then you will see that any of these would form this will form basically option number c but then we are not migrating the second two degree carbon we are migrating the three degree carbon all right so your answer is option number b bare villager oxidation is the name reaction second is the lactone reduction Let's move onwards to question number 2 guys. Now this is also a question from June exam 13. Okay? June CSI net 13. Now the compound formed in the following reaction sequence is. So first thing you see, you look at this molecule. You have a benzene a ring fused to a simple cyclohexene ring. Right. And you see lithium in liquid ammonia. So this combination is used for birch reduction of the organic molecules so what are you going to do here guys first of all you should be careful with the birch reduction because with substituted benzene molecules like this with substituted benzene molecules like this what happens is the reduction would happen in such a way that neither these methyl groups nor this oxygen will have the negative charge so the electron should be transferred in this way that none of these are going to get the negative charge. So, they will only have the double bonds in this way. And this is your radical anion which forms. And this is the exact way you are going to get the reduction. Alright. So, let's say you have got the reduction. This way, this is your methoxy group. So, this is your birch reduction product of the first step. Alright. Some name reaction always mixed with another uh, reaction. 
so here it is mixed with the hydrolysis of the vinyl ether all right so this is your vinyl methyl ether how does the hydrolysis take place the bond is going to fall in this way and you will have a double bond and the methyl is going to be removed easily because the oxygen now gets a positive charge so this is the new ring all right this is the ring and this is your double bond as it is now since there are hydrogens and the oxygen has a positive charge water could easily attack over this methyl bond falls up like this okay so you are first going to form this molecule all right this is not alpha beta unsaturated ketone system this is your gamma delta all right but what happens in the presence of an acid since this proton is very easily lost it is on the acidic position it is very easily lost what will happen you are going to get the enol type intermediate in this way okay you will get the enol type intermediate in this way and in the presence of acid isomerization is going to happen which will lead to product number d all right so your correct answer for this question question number 2 is d it is birch reduction followed by the hydrolysis of the vinyl methyl ether another reaction from the same year june 2013 only all right major product formed in the following reaction is so just stop the video and identify the reaction by yourself it's very simple once again question number 3 over here so what happens is sodium hydride is going to first remove this proton from here and it is going to give you a molecule like this o minus and guys what does it look like does it look like the xanthate ester formation it is absolutely all right so it is the xanthate ester formation in this way and what is going to happen next what is going to happen next you are going to have the xanthate ester formed all right you are going to have the xanthate ester formed in this way all right yes so what does the xanthate ester do in the presence of heat it does the synpyrolytic elimination to give elimination we also call it to give elimination we have also made a video on that all right so what does it do guys it always wants to remove a proton which is sin to it matlab on the same side okay so here you have a methyl group on the same side and here you have this hydrogen on the same side so absolutely it is going to remove a proton which is present on the same side you are going to get this alkene all right and then one cos molecule just like carbon dioxide the structure is same and the other one is going to be a thioenolate anion like this okay so your product is option number b to give elimination is the reaction let's move onwards to question number 4 now we start the questions from december 2013 paper what do we see the following reaction proceeds through so you have to just carry out different rearrangements see what is possible but the best method is if you find out that this is your allyl vinyl ether okay either you look at uh, the system and see if it is a 15 diene system let's check 1 2 3 4 5 absolutely 15 diene but there is an oxygen over here when there is oxygen you check for the allyl vinyl ether system see this is the allyl this is the vinyl absolutely this is an allyl vinyl ether system so this is your clays and rearrangement and that is your 3 3 sigma tropic rearrangement now what remains is just drawing the mechanism and confirming the product remains okay so what you are going to do just give the numbering from here it is going to be 1 2 3 1 2 and 3 a new bond forms a new bond forms in between new bond forms in between this carbon this is the third carbon all right and in this carbon okay so i am just drawing the molecule as it is because we need to understand what has just happened so this is the new bond that i am forming like this now how many member ring is formed 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so let's just write this molecule as it is and let us create 
a six member ring over here all right and what is the position of the double bond one two and three so one two and three this is the position of the double bond this is your CHO molecule and I think we are missing a methyl over here yes absolutely this is your methyl okay so the CHO and your methyl are on the same on the one three position and this is your double bond right so that you exactly get this molecule very very simple answer is option number C 3 3 sigma tropic rearrangement now next is our question number this was question number four this is question number five check this out guys by yourself what is happening the major product formed in the following reaction sequence is very popular name reaction first you see uh, H2O2 in the presence of NaOH all right <clears throat> to the alpha beta unsaturated ketone system so alpha beta unsaturated ketone system will get the epoxidation on the electron deficient double bond in the presence of the basic condition absolutely this is what is the product of reaction one reaction number two tocyl hydrazone you are going to get alpha beta epoxy tocyl hydrazone in this way all right and in the third step potassium tertiary butoxide potassium tertiary butoxide like this so what is that going to do potassium tertiary butoxide can remove this proton why does it only remove this proton why not any other proton because this is a flow all right if you just take away this proton from here and also it is uh, based on this nitrogen so if you just remove this proton from here the epoxide bond is going to open up that is why we remove that particular proton there is a flow in this reaction O minus it becomes there is one double bond over here I think by now you have identified this uh, very beautiful reaction this is Eschen Mosher fragmentation absolutely see once again the flow is very very good Eschen Mosher fragmentation all right now what do you see guys in this particular molecule if you have the O minus over here if you have the O minus over here you are going to get a molecule like this okay sorry the central bond has to break let's break the central bond okay so there is a C double bond O over here, one triple bond on this carbon. The nitrogen has eliminated minus TS group as well. Alright, so this is your fragmentation reaction, Eschen Mosher fragmentation. But does the reaction stop at this? No. This is only till the third part. Alright, this is only the answer of third option. Till th reaction number, step number three. What happens with the fourth step? Quinoline, where do you see quinoline? H2PD CaCO3 is your reduction catalyst. Alright, it is doing the catalytic reduction of the alkyne bond, but when you see quinoline, this is your Linlar's catalyst where you are having the catalyst poison to only stop this reaction in the second step till your alkene. So, Linlar's catalyst gives you alkyne reduction to cis alkene. So your answer is option number B. It is going to be a cis alkene and this is your correct answer. A is wrong. C is wrong because the fragmentation has not happened and D does not make any sense at all. Let's also check the numbering 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Alright, this is also correct. You will get a cis alkene as the major product. Very important and nice questions we are doing guys. And if you are enjoying the process, please subscribe and share the videos to everyone. Yes, there is still more remaining. We have more questions to do from the same year. June 2013, not many questions, but December 2013, many name reaction questions are there. So question number six, the following reaction, the intermediate, the major product AR. Okay. So yes, very, very simple reaction. First of all, CHCl3 aqueous NaOH. What is going to happen over here? 
OH minus is going to cause alpha elimination on the chloroform molecule that gives you a dichlorocarbene system. Yes, and what does that dichlorocarbene do? It undergoes the double bond insertion into the indole molecule, right? So it undergoes this kind of a double bond insertion into the indole molecule. But then we also have a base. Now what happens is the base is going to remove this proton from here so that the bond can open up in this way. If that happens, if the bond opens up in this way, you are going to get a six member ring. The expansion has taken place. Just be careful about the position of these groups. It is very, very important if you see. Now, since this was a five member ring and now it is expanding, you see the first methyl is present on the second position to this nitrogen. Okay, this is your first methyl. Then, when this bond breaks from here, the th uh, second position will have the chlorine, one chlorine still remains and the third position which is connected directly to this benzene is going to have another methyl. Okay, so just be careful about this. Your answer is option number D and what is this name reaction guys? It is your Denstead, Shamishan Denstead rearrangement. It is already done in the name reaction video. Please check it out. Question number 7. The major product formed in the sulfuric acid mediated rearrangement of sesquiterpene serotonin is. So this molecule is given over here and it's a very simple reaction once again. However big molecule you get you're not going to be scared because the reaction is very simple. Diinone phenol rearrangement. Phenol rearrangement. Yes. Why? Because from the diene own system, we are going to get the phenol. So I am just going to write this part of the molecule. It becomes OH. There is one double bond over here. One double bond already exists. Now here you get a positive charge. You have rest of the ring like this. One methyl group is as it is. So this methyl is now going to migrate on this position. Okay, this is your positive charge over here. What is going to happen next? Here you have a hydrogen to spare. So this hydrogen is going to fall off and you are going to get the molecule like this. Rest of the molecule is not going to undergo any change. Only here, only this ring is going to undergo this reaction. A is absolutely wrong. C is also absolutely wrong because we are generating the phenol. D is wrong because the methyl does not go over here. Option B is the correct answer. Only one methyl migration followed by the proton loss going to give you this molecule. Diinone phenol rearrangement. Okay. Question number 8. In the same series and again in the same paper December 2013. Major product formed in the following reaction sequence is. So stop the video. It's a very simple reaction. Do it by yourself guys. In the first step, what happens is, this is hydroboration oxidation. First step is hydroboration oxidation and since the hydroboration, oxi hydroboration first of all, it is a syn addition reaction. That is, to a double bond, the hydrogen and the boron, they are going to add from the same side. And also it is determined from this big bold line that the hydrogen and the boron are going to add from below the plane. Why is that so? Because above we have steric hindrance which is very evident from this bold line over here. Alright, it is going to have steric hindrance. So stereochemistry says that they are going to add from below the plane and regioselectivity says that to the more substituted carbon hydrogen is going to attach and to the less substituted carbon boron will attach for the steric reasons also. Okay, so this is what you get now first step after the oxidation the first step is going to be oxidation as well. Alright, 
So this is it. This is your molecule that you get as the product of the first step, hydroboration oxidation. But this is not the product yet. What is this combination reaction, guys? PH3P dead 4 nitrobenzoic acid. Once again, Mitsunobu reaction. It is the Mitsunobu reaction and the nucleophile is 4 nitrobenzoic acid. So the product of the second reaction. The product of the second reaction is going to be like this oxygen C double bond O. And since this is 4 nitrobenzoate, this is your nucleophile. This is what you get. Now it is going to be attacking from above the plane because inversion has happened. Okay, please check out the mechanism of Mitsunobu reaction once again. Please revise quickly. And what happens next? This ester is hydrolyzed in the presence of OH minus. So you are just directly going to get this product at the end of whole reaction. This is your end product OH. Now this OH is above on the same side as the methyl. How does it happen? Please see the overall process once again. Answer is going to be option number A. Once again, moving on to question number 9. For December 2013 only. The major product formed in the following reaction sequence is C. In the first step, you have tocyl hydrazine ethanol. Second step, two equivalent butyl lithium. Now, looking at this two equivalent butyl lithium combination, the question is done. What is this reaction, guys? Hydrazone and two equivalent butyl lithium. It is Shapiro reaction. You must be able to identify like this. Okay, so let's do this. First of all, you are having the tocyl hydrazone formation. This is it. Second is you are having two equivalents of butyl lithium. So what is that going to do? First equivalent of butyl lithium is going to take away this proton, more acidic proton from the nitrogen center. All right. This is it. All right. Just a second. Let's. Uh, First, this thing because here you don't have a leaving group, right? So, first, the butyl lithium has to remove both of these protons. Let's say it is removing both of these proton protons. Yes, it is absolutely going to remove this proton as well as this proton. Let's see what happens. So, negative charge remains over here. <clears throat> and since we are not having any possibility of fragmentation, it sticks to that uh, nitrogen only with the lithium plus. Alright, another negative charge on this carbon. What is this uh, negative charge going to do? There is a possibility. There is a possibility of charge removal in this way. So that a tocile group is going to leave. So this charge will move. like this and the TS minus has eliminated. Now this minus charge is going to fall on this alkene carbon. Yes, it is going to generate a alkene carba anion in this way and the final uh, reaction is DMF. So DMF is going to be an N dimethyl formamide. It is going to be attacked in this way. Amine group leaves and you are having the formylation on the absolute same carbon where the carbonyl group was present. Just remember this one more tip from here that Shapiro reaction will give you the electrophile added on the same carbon where there was carbonyl. So one double bond like this and the same carbon will get the uh, electrophile which the DMF has to provide. A is your correct answer for this question. Very very beautiful question Shapiro reaction. Last question for today, question number 10 guys, we have done 10 very beautiful questions today. Once again from December 13 paper, the major product formed in the following reaction sequence is, now you look at the molecule, first step is potassium hydride. And what is the potassium hydride going to do? It is going to deprotonate an oxygen. Let's say it deprotonates both of these oxygens, no problem. Let's say. This oxygen is protected by the benzyl group. Let's say we write O- for this. And let's say we also write O- for this oxygen which is above. 
but what happens is there is no fate of the below oxygen but the above oxygen is going to attack on silicon and it is going to give you this uh, four membered intermediate yes and i hope that you can identify this reaction very nicely it is peterson olefination reaction okay it is peterson olefination reaction so you are going to get this molecule from here and O minus and a double bond over here and in the presence of metachloropurbenzoic acid which is basically acidic medium it becomes OH okay and what else does the metachloropurbenzoic acid do it is going to give you epoxidation but the epoxidation is not simple it is going to be directed what is directed epoxidation the already existing allylic OH group the existing allylic OH group is going to direct the incoming oxygen which causes the epoxide into the same direction as it is already present because of the hydrogen bonding. So metachloropurbenzoic acid does the hydrogen bonding on this OH group okay and that is why it is directed on the same side. So if the epoxide is below guys we will see that the hydrogens are above and this hydrogen is also above so what according to you should be the correct answer we have an OH below we have hydrogens above we have this oxygen below only B is your correct answer why is A wrong because the hydrogens cannot be below alright here also the same thing here the OH which was above has not eliminated so this is anti-elimination anti-elimination does not happen in the basic medium in the basic medium, syn elimination happens even for the Peterson elimination reaction. That is why B is our correct answer once again. Alright, yes. So, yes everyone, we have done 10 beautiful questions today. And if you are liking the content, please like and share. Also, subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and press the bell. Also that you get all the notifications. Thank you so much. I am going to see you all in another very nice video. Stay tuned to the Sign Academy guys. Bye everyone. Have a nice day.